Hey guys, Shahar here, and I'm with Jenny Ferguson, Trilango Loom Extraordinaire. <laughs> and you. we are going to take a couple of minutes to talk about the looms itself. Because of course, if you want to go into triangle loom weaving, it's important to have the right loom for you, right? And as you said uh, once to me, your very first one, you even try with the wrong type of wood and yes. nothing worked, right? Right. So here we basically have two sizes, the 18 inches one and the three feet one for you to get your hands going with triangle looms. Uh, do you know what kind of wood you're using here? Yes, these are made of oak. Mm -hmm. It's a really hard wood, so you don't have to worry about splitting. Yes, which is very important. It is important. It's because, strong. you know, if you search online, of course you're going to find uh, some that are a lot cheaper than these are, but then they are not going to last too long or they are going to split. Now, one thing that is not common is that it comes without the nails, right? The nails are right here and it comes without it. And we know that one of the main reasons is because it's saving you a lot of money on shipping. Because if this was to be shipped with, with the nails, it would cost a lot more, right? Yes. But is that an issue? No, it's not. When you get these, um, it's really simple. The hardware is all included, so it comes with your nails. You take the nails out. The holes are pre-drilled. It's done on a drill press. One of the reasons that these are so nice is it allows you to assemble a kit for triangle loom weaving if you don't have access to a saw or a drill press and you're not very comfortable with uh, installing hardwood or figuring out dimensions and measurement. So you just take the nails out of the package. You're going to be putting them in about halfway. You don't want to pound the nail all the way through because that can split your wood. That's about the only thing that requires a little bit of thought. But you, the nails are pre-drilled or the holes are pre-drilled. So all they need is really a hammer. That's yep. all they you need. You just need a hammer. You can use a sanding block if you want to get rid of some of these pencil marks or smooth out any rough spots that might catch your yarn. Um, that's but all you're going to need. Good. Once you've done that, you've got your nails in there, you can hit it with either a clear coat if you like the wood and the nail look, just to cut, put a finish on the nails so it's not getting your project dirty, or you can paint them like I have on this one. This See, was this just one a is it's really color. nice because yeah. it's a, pur a nice purple color. They all come with the raw wood, right? So you can see here in front of our table that I have two looms there here, the, the 18 inches and the three feet, they're actually mine. And when I got it, I really thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to nail that. I don't know because, you know, not very precise in my life, but really because it's pre-drill, it was a bliss. I did that. <coughs> yeah, it's not hard to do. Um, I had my kids help me yeah, I had mine too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, Nashla, come over here. <laughs> so it's very easy to do. Like I said, it's a very good quality wood, oak, which is an important thing when you are trying to get your triangle loom out there because you don't want something that, even if you don't have to drill, it's not going to get the tension well and the, the wood will split. The other thing is these obviously, <coughs> um, even after you put the nails in, they, they fold down and you can store them like this. Uh -huh. And it does include your wing nuts. All of, you all of the hardware is already done. Your brackets on here to allow for that uh -huh. loom to break down when you're not using it. And with the uh, three feet, you only need two triangles actually to make a beautiful shawl. Mm -hmm. Which you can say is quite a fast project if we think. What about with the 18 inches? How many uh, triangles will I need for that? For a shawl, I think it depends on the size of your shawl. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I haven't done a small one, but they're great for blankets too. Blankets, uh -huh. that's a great idea. And, and pillows, and if pillows. you want to make a pillow with your, uh -huh. your project. And so. we even had some ideas of people using uh, material to create some rugs, which I never tried that, but it would be a great project. Yeah, if you wanted to weave with fabric. Yeah, the one thing people talk about triangle looms is that you don't have to do the warping as you would do on a normal loom, like a rigid heddle yes. or, or the, or the four shaft or any others. So it makes the project uh, really enjoyable and fast, which, you know, for some of us, especially mm -hmm. when you get closer to a, a cool season, you want to make stuff and start wearing. And you can see some of the shawls that Jenny made here with the triangle looms, and they are amazing, right? Well, and because a triangle loom doesn't have a heddle, you can use thicker yarns or beaded yarns or locks yarns. Whatever you have in your mm -hmm. stash yes. would come here. 
So, you know, you just, yeah, I know how you think. You think, oh, I don't need another hobby. You mm -hmm. know what? You do. Because <laughs> we, we need to change from one thing to the other in order just to relax, try something different, get new ideas. So you're going to enjoy this very much. You have the opportunity of getting this at a very cool price. Uh, you can get the 18 inches one or the three feet. What, what do you need to do next? Mondo markettv.com mondo m o n d o markettv.com and you can get either one is going to be shipped to you right away uh, like i said you're going to save a lot of money on the shipping because the nails come separate they are, so it's easier to ship and it's more and more affordable to you and that's a no brainer decision right <laughs> <laughs>